Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on twin flame energy. Okay, so I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. So this is going to be following a different tarot card spread. Let's begin. So what I'm seeing in terms of these energies is an indication of the experience you had with this individual. It feels as if this is going back to the first time that the two of you met each other, okay? I feel like spirit is emphasizing these energies during this particular period of time because it is of significance. It feels as if when you met your twin flame, there was an energy that was occurring between the two of you. It was an exchange of energy. It could have been the recognition of each other, okay? I'm sensing here that these energies, when it came together, your energy and their energy, it feels as if a very distinctive difference occurred in the way you handle the situation versus this individual, right? One individual was open to this connection and the other was a little bit closed off. So I'm definitely picking up that this energy has played a role in determining where you are right now in terms of your twin flame journey with your twin flame, right? Now for this energy to show up, I feel like there's a message here. There's an important message surrounding the way that your relationship has ultimately turned out. We're going to clarify these energies in a moment. Now, when I see these cards, I feel like there's a sense of loneliness in one energy. This could be you or your twin flame, but it feels as if one energy became a little bit numb to love and the experience of living on this earth because it feels as if one of the energies in this equation was feeling very disgruntled, very, you know, unhappy in terms of the previous relationships or the current relationships that they were involved in. So I feel like one of the twin flames here, it could be you, it could be the individual you're dealing with, you will know best. But one of the energies here was exceptionally dissatisfied with their love life, feeling incomplete, feeling as if something is missing, feeling as if this is the way that life is meant to be lived, okay? So that is a very important and powerful thing there to recognize. It almost feels as if one individual gave up on the hope of finding love or the hope of finding happiness it feels as if um, they may have come to a conclusion that love and uh, romance and things of that nature don't really exist. What I'm also picking up from this energy is a sense of this individual feeling like all they ever get in life is people taking advantage of them and they can't make sense of how they find themselves in certain situations. It feels as if there's a inability to establish how they always end up in a position where they feel used, where they feel exhausted, where they feel like they're not finding that happy balance that other people seem to have, you know. So it feels as if this individual may have been watching certain people around them. There might be a small handful of people that they see to epitomize true happiness and they've always pursued it in the hope of finding it. But, um, you know, once they get really involved in a relationship, it turns out to be a different thing. So when you came along, I feel like you had a different energy to them. That's quite clear. It feels as if you had either a very youthful energy or an energy that um, translated into an innocence, a purity about your soul. Okay, so that's being very heavily emphasized. And uh, there's a difference there between you and your twin flame. So we'll come back to this. The next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me a very unique set of, well, a very unique blend of energies, actually. I feel like there's a sense of 
you know, just emotional emptiness. An inability to invest on an emotional level in situations that require commitments based on experiences that were had during the duration of one of the twin flames journeys. So I feel like someone has a lot more experience than the other person in some shape or form. It doesn't have to mean like a physical experience. Maybe they were used to the process of getting very excited, very happy, and uh, you know the process of falling in love and having everything click inside of their head. And then there's this process of where you know, things get difficult and it doesn't turn out how they want it to be and so they leave. So I feel like when they met you, something clicked into place, right? And when this clicked into place, it feels like the energy of not just instant recognition, but also fear, right? So someone uh, started to experience strong feelings, yeah, really intense, strong feelings, and their energy was like, they need to get out of the situation because it doesn't make sense. And instantly they felt like this experience they were having with you, it was triggering experiences that they've had with other people that didn't turn out well. And so I feel like this individual knew on an unconscious level that this was a different connection to the ones that they've had before. But instead, you know, instead of giving it a chance like they did so often in the past, they chose to abandon this connection, to run away from it, okay? Because it felt comfortable. It felt as if, you know, they already made up their mind this isn't going to work because their previous experiences turned out to be absolutely horrendous. And so they just wrote off this connection just because it didn't make sense for everything to be happening so fast. It feels as if, you know, they had some emotional issues already and uh, they didn't want to add to that load, that emotional burden in their life. They already were feeling like they were drowning in their current circumstances, right? So let's see. The next set of cards are showing to me. There was a real hesitation to give this a chance. It was almost as if they turned their back to it. So perhaps the two of you were getting to know each other and then they just disappeared. Or the two of you were in the process of getting to know each other, but you couldn't figure out what this individual was thinking and feeling. And so you felt as if there was, you know, a bit of a cold nature to their personality. Like you just couldn't tap into them. You couldn't uh, uh, fulfill this... Um, a draw that you felt to this human being. You couldn't feel a sense of fulfillment because they were so unfulfilled. They couldn't fulfill you because they were feeling empty. So I feel like instead of rejoicing and coming together and really celebrating this love that came out of nowhere, I feel like one individual turned their back to it and said, no, I don't want to deal with this. That is a very distinctive energy that is showing up. It's showing like an absolute refusal to deal with very deep emotions that really cut to the core. I feel like there's a lot of things that might have been triggered, right? And now I feel like the current situation is indicating there's such a sense of disappointment and sadness about this experience as a whole. Because it feels as if the two of you have parted ways and went in different directions. There's a sense of emptiness. But there's also that sense of, you know, missing that sense of fulfillment that you felt with this individual. And they're missing it as well. And the two of you are off by yourselves. It feels as if nothing can be done at this point. It feels as if things are just, you know, not getting resolved. And... I feel like you and this individual sit by yourselves and revisit this emotional connection that was experienced at what point in time and see things in a way in which you realize and they realize that this was no coincidence. So I feel like there's a fear to touch the situation again, to get pulled into it because of a repeat of what went down. So that's very interesting. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box.
Yeah, there's a great sense of sadness here, right? I am picking up a great sense of disappointment and sadness with how things turned out because it feels as if there's an emotional distance between the two of you, but also there's a recognition of the fact that the two of you were perfect with each other and for each other, not just with each other, but for each other. And so it feels as if the broken pieces are on the floor right now and it's hard to reconnect because of how these experiences lined up. I can completely understand why it would be difficult for the two of you to find your way back to each other based on the previous experiences between one another, the element of rejection, the element of pain, experiencing that uh, sort of torment. It's different with twin flame experiences. You know, it really cuts to the core. You can fall in love with an ordinary person who doesn't have their twin flame components, and, you know, if the person rejects you, yes, it's going to be painful, but it won't be as painful as, uh, you know, a twin flame rejecting you or pushing you away. What I'm seeing here is that in this situation, it feels like the connection was so intense and it was so difficult to truly get immersed in it. Because these feelings were so confusing, it felt as if there was almost this sort of um, fear to engage in it to the point in which one individual decided to settle for inferior relationships or relationships that were not as intense. It feels as if that uh, was definitely something uh, that one individual was experiencing. It almost feels as well like uh, one person settling into a comfort zone and saying, you know, I'd rather deal with a relationship that is not so intense or uh, go back to X, Y, and Z because that relationship, I know what I'm dealing with, but this is just very uncertain, unpredictable because, you know, one individual really didn't know what they were getting involved here uh, with because of the intensity of emotions. I do pick up that uh, the flow of this connection is not going in the proper direction. It feels as if one individual is drifting away, making a transition, but it's an emotional transition and it's going inwards. It's going backwards as well. It feels as if one twin flame in the situation thinks they're making progress, but in, in essence, they're not. It feels as if uh, they're going back into old behaviors, old patterns, things that just feel very comfortable things that make them feel safe, so they are moving away from their spiritual growth. Yeah, this was a very powerful instant recognition. It is being emphasized that uh, this connection that you have uh, felt and experienced with this individual is truly real. It's not something based on your imagination and you're not going mad. But the way that things stand right now, it feels as if, you know, there's a lack of movement. It feels as if one individual is um, moving backwards on an emotional level, you know, because it feels as if the progress that was being made is not going in the right sort of direction. It feels as if one individual is reverting back to all behaviors, patterns, and things of that nature. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the energy of the individual that you're dealing with, their feelings, their thoughts, their soul energy, as well as what is going to happen and what is currently happening. Because it feels as if in the situation, that there's um, you know, a hesitancy to truly acknowledge this connection and I'll be providing you guys with an ability to uh, move forward with a strategy as well. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.